Hey, how's it going? Welcome to One Minute Tutorials. Today's tutorial is all about batch renaming tracks. So I got these stems from an artist that I'm working with. They exported the tracks like this. They put their artist name and then their song name and then the instrument name. But when I come to Reaper, I can see only the name. So what I can do is obviously double click on one of these and then just go to the end and take away whatever I need from the end and then rinse and repeat with the other tracks. But that'll obviously take way too long. So what I can do in my actions list, go to search and replace and I'll get these commands and the last one is x frame search and replace in selected tracks names so if i select my tracks and i run this command so in this menu you can search for a specific name and replace it you can truncate a number of letters from the start or the end or you can insert words or numbers to the start or the end of a track so in this case we want to truncate from start so if i just say truncate from start 26 it'll delete the first 26 characters and i end up with the instrument names which is really nice so another thing is they called their snares snare and usually i like to write s and R and that's how it's set in my auto coloring as well. So what I can do is again run this command. I also have it in my toolbar. Hit this and then I can search for the word snare and I can replace it with SNR. Hit it. Boom. I also work in film and in film audio a lot of times your tracks have the same names right. So I have like eight tracks and they're all called sound effects. So what I can do is just make a bunch of blank tracks and then I select them all run the same command. I can insert at start the name of the track like sound effects and then put a space and then then at the end I can insert forward slash capital E and it would just number them in order. Hit it, boom, they're all named. So those are some quick ways of naming tracks. Stay tuned because today I'll be releasing two other videos on film audio workflow. I promised this to a user the other day but as I started making the video I realized they work way better as longer videos than one minute tutorials. In the meantime if you have any questions regarding Pro Tools, Reaper, SWS, Ableton, Logic Pro just let me know in the comments and I'll make a quick video for you. Hope you enjoyed this, bye!